Cora Key from Clay County, Tennessee, a senior at the University of Tennessee majoring in animal science with a minor in food and agriculture business. Today we're going to learn how to shear some lambs, get them ready for the show ring, just go over some basic grooming techniques. Alright, let's get started with this sheep shearing business. We'll start by washing the lambs, blowing them, clipping their body, and then going over their he head and legs and some basic skin and hair things we can do at home. back from the wash rack with this ewe lamb and I just got done drying her. When you're drying your lamb to get ready to shear it, you kind of want to go in a circular motion and you want to make sure they're good and dry because a dead lamb, your blades are going to get tangled up and stuck in it and that makes a process. With a lamb like this with really thick wool, it's going to take upwards of 15 minutes to get them completely dry all over. As we get started shearing our lamb, you know, it's very important the type of clippers and blade that you have. If it's your first year in the project, you might not want to go out and buy an expensive set like the Premier I have here. The blades you want to use to shear your show lambs are typically fines. We do see variations, but with market lambs and commercial youth type sheep or the breeds that get slick like Hampshire, Suffolk, different things, these are the blades to get that nice clean cut. Fines are what I recommend, but there is variations used. When you are clipping, it is super important to put clipper oil on your blades. This is what is preventing your blades from dulling and just getting stuck and tangled. So when you're putting oil on it, you want to go down the top of the blade and inside the motor. And you can't oil them too much. Every two to three minutes, go ahead and take the time to oil them. It'll really save you money and hard work in the long run. on this ewe lamb just kind of go over some of the things that I did in the video so I like to start right here at the dock where there was already a natural opening and I like to go forward and upward and make long strides with the clippers when you make short choppy strides you're going to end up getting a lot of line and creases so that's kind of what I did you know there's different diagrams and modules and things that you can follow but just do something that's natural for you and get in the habit of doing it so I like to work my way forward on the lamb I left about right here now on the legs, and I'll explain to you why I did that. I leave from the navel back on the belly, front legs, and the head. With the legs and the belly, I typically use a type of walking blade or tin blade to kind of fit and clip on that some. With the head, I like to save it and do it with two people so you can work together, especially if you're new to shearing sheep. It's a process that takes time, and you need to have somebody around to help you do that. Usually, we'll lower the stand a little bit. I'm going to explain what I did here in the neck. So when you're clipping the neck, I'll walk to the other side of you. You're going to want to stretch that out so that you can go up in an up motion right there. You can pick her up, stretch her out, whatever works for you. I had somebody help me do that when I was shearing her. Just Man. something to do and keep in mind. And you can go back over what you've done. If you've left pieces, go ahead and go back and do that before you move on to the head legs and neck. As you can see here, I'm just using a blower and some Revive to go ahead and clean that leg. We want to make sure it's free of dirt and debris and now using a wool card to do the same thing. These are things you want to do at home on a day-to-day -day basis with your lambs to get them ready for the show. Blowing and brushing the legs really helps the hair grow and give them that really good full look that the judge is looking for on show day. 
As you can see, I've switched to a smaller set of clippers, and that's just to allow me to be a little bit more precise as I'm doing this right here. Kind of just going down the leg, just trying to shape it up and square it up and make her look the best that I can. It's important to work with the lambs at home and practice this for your sake and for theirs. As you can see, she's pretty jumpy and fidgety. The more you take the wool card and brush those legs at home, the stealer she's going to be. And as you can see on the belly, the same kind of thing. Just trying to make it look natural. Trying to make her look fuller and deeper in her flank without making it too obvious. And here we move into the front leg. Same principle of shearing down using a smaller clipper. I had a tin blade on those at the time. We just finished with the means am I saying this is the best product on the market there's a wide variety through Sullivan's Weaver and several other and different people have different preferences this is just what I had available this morning but after you get done clipping these lambs you're going to want to put something light on them just to freshen the hide up because when you're taking the wool off you're removing the natural grease and linen that the sheep has so we're going to need to replace that with something to keep that hide fresh and away from that for show lambs anyways and even at home with sheep that you're clipping out just to prevent their skin from getting dry and breaking they only want to put some kind of conditioner on them besides revive that i just sprayed something i like to do is mix mane and tail conditioner with water i do this 16 ounce bottle to a gallon of water in a pump up sprayer and spray them head to toe the week before the show two or three times a day just to get the hide where i like it when a judge gets the handle on that lamb to get him what he's filled as far as our head for the market lamb and commercial use i've completely slicked her all over for different breeds, we're looking for different things. For South Downs, we leave a diagonal from the eye there and leave a circle around the ears. With Hampshire and Shropshire sheep, we're going to leave a top knot on top. But as I said, this is a crossbred ewe right here, Hampshire influence. Those we're going to go ahead and slick off like I did her and get everything off the head. As far as the legs, you can see where I fitted in. By no means are they show ring ready, but you just kind of want to blend it in and make it look natural. You're going to want to square them up. When you're clipping the back legs of your lamb, there's things you want to pay attention to, like the set and angle to their hawk. If they're pretty sickle hawked and up under their self, just try to square them up. I mean, it's not something you can fix, but clipping can make a difference in how you fit it and how you do your lines. You know, I didn't get her the best job done today, but just kind of something you want to go over and talk about. Just try to make them look natural and fluffy and do the best that you can do. If it's your first time showing, come find me, find an extension agent. Somebody will be at the show to help you. And talk to the breeder that you purchased your lamb from or leased to you from and ask them what to do. We trim the hoofs of our lambs to prevent things like foot rot. This needs to be done about a week out from the show because done on the day of may cause limping if you get it in a quick or too short. This is a management practice once again to help prevent diseases like foot rot, something you definitely need to be doing with your lambs pretty frequently. Here we are with the finished product. Some tips to keep in mind is you, a lot of kids when they first start clipping a lamb, they're worried that they're going to cut them. And with those fine blades that we started with, Cutting them is not rare, and you don't have to clip them the day of the show. You can do it a couple days out to give it time to grow back and look natural. A part of grooming that people often forget is to go ahead and trim their hooves. You can do that on the stand, or it's a lot easier to cast them over on their back while you have their feet up in the air and go ahead and trim their hooves. I trimmed her hooves today. She's not exactly show ready, but, but she looks pretty good and decent and got her wool off. If you have young lambs at home and they've got, still got their lamb wool and have never been sheared, right now it's May, probably a good time to go ahead and do that as we prepare for upcoming regional and state expos. Hope you learned something today. Have fun. If you have questions, please don't feel hesitant to reach out to me. Thank you.